everyone, my name is Tao V. Um, for the Vietnamese people out there, Tao V. Welcome to my first video of the year and also happy Tiger Year. Um, so a little bit more about me before we start this video. I am an artist. Um, I recently graduated. Um, so I have more time to actually do YouTube and I actually been wanting to do YouTube for a while. Just, you know, school and life got in the way. Um, but now that I have more time, I really want to make this platform just to kind of document my art journey, what I learned because there's just so many things um, that I've yet to learn in art and I've only been recently delved into like digital um, for like film game stuff so I never really do a lot of traditional um, so I thought that this would be a great way to kind of share my growth and just my thought process through life i guess i technically have like a million thoughts and i don't remember any of them so i thought that maybe youtube would be a great way to just i don't know talk about these things and so i can look back and see how much i grow um anyways back to the point of this video i will be talking about my 2022 goals for this year as well as sharing um, the process for this tiger illustration so just very briefly I did not record any of the sketching process or the planning process for this illustration um, I just went straight into the flat colors but I will sh show you a quick uh, procreate replay of the sketching part so let's begin for my 2022 goals I wrote them down in my notability app and i split them into three categories so career art and personal um i kind of see art as neither career or personal um i really want to keep that separate because um i guess it's supposed to be i mean it's a lot i wrote down a lot for what i wanted to accomplish for art this year but honestly if i can complete one i'm happy um so anyways, uh, we're gonna start off with career first. Um, so for career, I wrote down as the first thing as a post-grad artist, um, get a part-time job, which I actually succeeded. I am starting literally after this video, I gotta go to work. Um, but yes, I got a part-time job, very happy about that. The second part to my career, I guess, slash school technically, um, I am thinking of getting or applying um, for my teaching credentials, which I won't be doing probably till fall of 2022, maybe, depending on how work goes. Another part of my career, I wrote that I want to redesign my website portfolio. So in my description box, I do link to my website. So those who want to see an example of what a website portfolio could look like, go ahead and check that out. I do want to take on more commissions and freelance uh, projects. So. Freelance projects could be also for myself, but also for others. Um, let's just see where this year takes me. Possibly a shop update. Also want to sell in person. Um, so like vendor pop-ups, um, yeah. So moving on to the art part. I don't know if I should do personal or work. I'll do personal first. Okay, so for personal, this is kind of a contrast to the bunch of things that I want to accomplish this year um, but I do want to take more breaks um, I feel like I'm a workaholic the past couple of years because of college um, but now I really want to take more breaks I want to sleep early wake up early on exercise um, I actually do want to get into yoga more um, obviously I should probably stretch more, um, probably work in intervals, like 30 minute intervals and then stretch, which I don't do, which is really bad. Don't do what I do. Um, I sit in this chair for two hours and I don't stop and it's so bad. So that is something I want to change. I do want to read more. Um, some of the contents will be a majority of me talking about the books I read because I love reading. Um, so I do want to read more, just continue my streak. I want to learn how to cook. 
uh, I suck at cooking. <laughs> I want to learn American Sign Language. That is something that I really, really want to learn for a while because my boyfriend knows uh, a little bit about American Sign Language and I thought it's like a useful language to learn. I also, for going back to like the sleeping early and waking up early, I want to try to not go on my phone before I do any of that stuff. So before I sleep, um, I would not go on my phone. So less than not screen time um, before I go to bed. And when I wake up, I want to not go on my phone immediately. I want to actually spend like a good hour um, to do whatever I need to do and then actually stare at my screen. Um, and on top of that, I just want to save money. I want to budget more. I've been budgeting uh, for a good, I guess like four years now. And I want to continue doing that because that is super healthy for my myself, my wallet. Um, and I can focus that money for bigger projects down the line. All right, so that is my personal goals. I think it's pretty reachable. It's very general, um, nothing too specific. So I think I got this. All right, so moving on to um, art. So there is a lot, and I believe that some of these, um, or at least some of the things that I'm listing might be a potential video. So I guess it'll be like a teaser. <laughs> Um, I also want this platform to be like a learning process for everyone um, as well like you're learning with me we're learning together I want to take outside classes like any open studios um, I did some research in my area and I found some I guess like printmaking studios ceramic studios that I would really want to go and learn and take more classes there's also a lot of online classes that I want to take as well but that costs a little bit of money so I definitely do have to save up for that I want to make, I guess like resin trinkets, like I guess like coasters, um, yeah. I've never used resin or made anything with resin before, so I thought that would be cool. I have learned, uh, I guess screen printing, in, or silk screen or screen printing um, at school and I really want to do that on clothing or other materials this time because I've always done it on paper. I want to relearn some 3D uh, modeling again. Um, I learned a little bit from ZBrush and Blender and also Maya, but then I haven't touched any of those softwares for a long time. So I really want to go back and relearn those things because those are pretty um, important in the industry now. Everything is kind of CGI'd, 3D, and I really want to get into film and game one day, so I um, should probably get into that. I believe now the iPad also has a 3D model modeling thing on Procreate, um, and there's also an app called Nomad Sculpt that I really want to test out too, so that's pretty exciting. I want to relearn how to animate and do more motion graphics. I'm not the best animator, but I do want to get better. I, t I took some animation classes at school, but I really felt like it wasn't for me. Like I felt like my path was more towards like the visual development, concept art world, but I really think maybe seeing something move. Actually me creating something that moves might be interesting. Whew. Okay, it's a long list. Um, so I really want to make paper. Uh, that is, <laughs> that's something that is probably really random, but I really want to make paper. I realized that I recycled a lot of paper. I always have it in a bin somewhere. Like I don't throw away paper at all. Um, I realized I could probably use that to make my own paper, probably make my own sketchbook. I want to do more printmaking techniques. So there's like a bunch more that I haven't done before, um, like etching or monotype. I really want to do that. There's also a bunch of draw this in your style on Instagram. So those challenges um, that I really want to do. There were so many good ones last year and I just like, oh, I can't do it because I'm so busy. Hopefully I can do that more this year. I want to paint a shoe. I saw a TikTok where this girl bought, um, I guess like these fake 
knockoffs like Air Forces at Walmart and it was like 15 bucks and she bought those acrylic paints and she paint them I guess like a nice like beigey brownie color oh, that was super cool and I really want to do that but I also want to do something graphic with my shoe as well like maybe draw like an anime character on it or I don't know I thought it would be super cool and I want to wear it so I want to paint on fabric so I want to paint on shirts I want to paint on tote bags those are things that I would love to do I want to make more jewelry um, I want to paint on bigger surfaces so I would love to paint a mural so I didn't want who wants to hire me I have no experiences but I would love to paint a mural um, like a big wall I would love to do that um, I really want to I guess I like, get a big canvas and just paint on that and put that on my wall maybe that's something I could do my parents are looking for new paintings so maybe I want to relearn art history but this is I, this is also going along with um, doing more master studies and learning more about the artists who made that artwork. I want to uh, crochet a sweater. Um, I want to embroider an article of clothing. There's just so many things I want to do with yarn. <laughs> and I really want to just make my own cardigan. Just like everyone else <laughs> that have already done that. I just want to be on that wagon. I really want to try to make a children's book this year. Like I said, I am not going to accomplish everything on this list because these things seem pretty ambitious and it might take a lot longer than just a couple of days. So, but yes, children's book or maybe in a book cover, uh, I would love to do that. I want to make a zine. I've never done that before. That would be cool. I want to do lino cut printing. Um, so like, I don't know. Is that is that what you call it? Is it like block printing? Yes, block printing. I want to you know carve either on like those linoleum blocks or like the wood blocks, and then I just put on a piece of paper. I want to do art with markers. Uh, I've never done those before. I've seen a lot of. Um, Poshka markers, Poshka markers, uh, artwork, and I'm not the person who does like very like lines, like very clean cut lines. Um, I mess up a lot. I like to do things just going with the flow of how I feel, especially doing it traditionally. I just can't do it perfect like that. Um, but I really want to try because those artworks are just so nice to look at. And then I want to work on finishing up this, uh, I guess this school project, school film that I worked on like 2020? No, last year, last year. We, um, my team and I worked on it for a bit and we were so close to being done with it and I would love to include that um, into everyone's portfolio. Um, just having that film credit on there would be nice and we're so close to being done so hopefully I can get that on um, and get it done and then lastly on the list um, is I want to bleach a hoodie I've never done that I've never used bleach to make artwork I've never actually done anything with chemicals to make artwork I don't think I do but I really want to do that so me and my boyfriend can have matching hoodies so that is the end of my 2022 goals that is pretty ambitious of me and I guess like in the art category I don't think I'm gonna accomplish any of that but I'm just gonna take it one step at a time um, I am totally excited for this year and I hope that you are excited for this year as well um, the past two years kind of suck um, and I hope that this year we can step actually we can step into this year with more confidence, um, ready to take any opportunity that comes at us, and I wish that you all have a great, healthy, happy year. Um, if you have any endeavors, any future goals that you want, I hope those are successful, and even if you don't reach that goal, that is completely okay. Um, we're here to try, we're here to learn, and that's all I'm rooting for you all. So. For rooting for myself too. 
uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the process video. Um, and I look forward to making more videos on this channel. Uh, I have so much time, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And obviously if you want to um, follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box. Yeah, so have a great day everyone um, and take care. Bye!